Welcome to another chance for us to reflect further on the text that we had this previous Sunday. You'll recall that our gospel text was from Luke 13, verses 1 through 9, and our conversation on Sunday was mostly around the concept of repentance and of uh, a call to repentance being a call to reorient and reshape one's mind in a way that focuses on where God is breaking in to the world and what our role might be in that. You'll recall that the parable that Jesus told in our text from Sunday was the one about the fig tree that was not bearing any fruit. And um, the landowner had said, you know, I've waited all this long. It hasn't produced any fruit. Let's get rid of it. And the gardener has said, please give me one more chance. Give me another year so I can tend to it, take care of it, and then we'll see if it produces fruit. And if it doesn't, you can get rid of it, but just give it one more year. That's a great segue for us to move into what we're going to think about today. And that is um, to consider the intentionality with which we live our lives, the way we live and love on a regular basis. We know all too well, especially given the last couple of years that we've all lived through, that life is fragile. And so we wonder, what do we do with the life that we have? The questions are, how do I live? How do I live my life? What am I committed to? Where does my time go? And where are and what are my priorities? Those are some big things for us to think about and they might, the answers to those questions may actually make us just a little bit uncomfortable, but we need to be willing to ask them. We're also called to consider the gift of another year uh, as a as a gift of God's mercy. So this is could almost be seen as the year of the Lord's favor, a year of forgiveness and restoration and second chances. So the time for us to remember that what we do and what we say actually matters, we can consider what people might be listening for from us when we interact with them. You could also ponder the question, what would you do if you had one year left to live? What would that look like? What will you do with each and every day? And of course, we know that our priorities would be recognizing the preciousness of life, um, to love others and to be loved, Perhaps there would be a desire to make up for uh, wrongs that have been done or maybe opportunities that were missed. But just to really focus on the fact that every day is a gift from God. So I invite you, not just today and not just this week, but throughout the rest of our season of Lent, to maybe sit with and take some time and consider the meaning of our lives, how we spend them, what we do with them. Um, and also, as we consider not just our personal lives, but our life as the church, we can ask the question, how are we church? Can other people tell that we are church together? There's that old song, I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. How are we church together? What does that look like? And we all know things have changed over the last couple of years. We've had to deal with being all virtual in worship and now dealing with uh, hybrid setups and things like that as, as we hope things are continuing to return to something that's gonna look like normal-ish or a new way of being and moving for us. Um, what, is, 
what is success, for lack of a better word, uh, going to look like for the church? It's going to be different from the ways we've done things before, and that makes us a little twitchy to have things change. But it's also important for us to remember that we still are church. We are still called to be church together, not just as individual people, but to be the gathered people of God. So there's lots to unpack here, lots to think about the importance and fragility of life, that it is a gift. How do we use it? How do we live it? How do we express who and whose we are? What does it look like for us to be church together in this place, in this time? My prayer is that these are questions that will give you cause to stop and think for a little while. Maybe just sit and ponder the answers for yourself and for us here at Advent and for our community at large. Blessings to you and we'll see you next week.